what ended up happening. My mom wanted for me to like look over some stuff for her. So, you know, family comes first. I love you guys, but you know, I gotta take care of family stuff, of course. But now I have your attention. It is me, Quita, aka Belasian Quita, and welcome back to the stream. The stream known as SIN TV. SIN TV, which stands for Smart Intelligent News. And guys, today's juicy topic is all about E ending the soup. We're going to get into that later. Of course, let's talk about the game that I am playing today, my friends. This is coming from gameless.mmosite.com, which is an excellent resource. If you want a little bit more further news and in-depth about old as well as the up-and-coming MMORPGs that are out right now. <laughs> so, ELOA... Elite Lord of Alliance is an exciting fantasy and anime-oriented, free-to-play adventurous action game. Venture through a George, a gorgeous, a gorgeous, right? A gorgeous, wide-open world of towns, fields, dungeons, and raids. Experience exciting and thrilling action combat and action combat mechanics. I just can't talk today, right? <laughs> oh my gosh! Never be bored again with our class system which allows you to carry three different weapons all <laughs> three different weapons at all time each with their own unique battle style and skills that can constantly switch around during combat to tactfully defeat enemies and cooperate with other players the universe is very diverse that's what they all say right <laughs> there is always something to do and somewhere to be and some someone to hunt, which is true. I've been playing this game. This is, of course, in open beta. And I have to say, it, it is that type of game. I mean, you're constantly hunting. You're constantly looking for new enemies. And, and, and the quests haven't stopped. It's just this ongoing. The best way that everyone's been describing this MMO is an anime hack and slash. It's got that 45 degree angle camera view, which is similar to what I would say if you like games like Davillion and Diablo 3. Speaking of Davillion, their next open beta, I'm not sure if it's going on today or it, it's coming up. That's all I know. It's coming up. So I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited about it. So let's get into Riot Talk while I play the game, shall we? So this is what's been going on with me for friends. Hey, what's going on, streamer? Hey, what's going on, my friend or viewer? <laughs> streamer, because that's what I'm doing, right? But thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. So let's get into some ELOA. And I'm going to just give you the 411 on what has been going on with me, child. Let me tell you. First off, if you can hear in my voice, I am finally getting over this sickness. I cannot tell you how crazy this has been, okay? So let's go to this. What is this? Tree of Spirit. Like, where the heck am I, right? I'm always trying to figure out, like, where I am. It's insane. All right, so let's go to this mysterious hill. Okay, so we have to go to the Tree of the Spirit to find what is called, let's see, Buried the Child's Remains. Okay, that's proper. We, we got to do what's right, my friends. All right, so this is what's been going on with me. First off, I have to say, okay, where the heck am I even going? <laughs> All right, so you can just click, and then it takes you to the actual selected point where you're supposed to be. All right, so this is where I'm supposed to be. Let's bury, rest in peace. So we did what we did. Excellent. So this is what's been going on with me, guys. I have had a head cold. I have had flu. I have had a upper respiratory infection and cramping and body aches. And I can't even talk. Like, that's what's been going on with me. Like, that seriously is what's been going on. And that's the reason why I've, I've been kind of lagging, no pun intended, <laughs> um, in regards to the stream. So... That's why I've been gone, but I am back, darlings. And let me show, let me go over some of the basic mechanics of the game for you people who are playing for the first time and you're not a hardcore MMO gamer that plays Diablo 3 and Guild Wars 2 and Terra and the list can go on and on, okay? So here are the basic mechanics of ELOA, also known as Elite Lord of Alliance. But who wants to say that? So we're just going to call it ELOA. First here, as you can see, these are different 
PvP or battlefield they call that's going on. So in order to participate in any of these, you have to be at level 30, and I still have a long way to go. Next, you have over here, and this is all on the right hand, the upper right hand side, you also have your map in here. This is something I think Tree of Savior could take a couple tips from. Just saying, look how big and detailed this map is. So it's really easy to find your way. As you can see, that little orange icon is where you're going to be headed. And then that is your actual location of where you're supposed to be. Now, of course, on the lower end here, you have your text, which is actually easy to read. Unlike Tree of Savior. Because I swear, I have to like squint my eyes like this. Like, what? So I have to like do that in order to like understand what's going on. So you have that. Of course, you got your HP in red, your MP in blue, classic for MMOs right here at the bottom. Now you'll also see while I'm playing, you'll see a little circular, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you'll see a little circular indicator here. Um, that will indicate that is your dodging. So if you hit spacebar, it helps you to dodge. Now, when you're originally playing the game, you will not have this option. As you can see me here, you know, moving around and all that jazz. Um, this is you move around with left click. Now, this is how you're able to activate it to make it a lot easier. Because when I originally was starting the game, the default key settings is your arrow keys on your keyboard. Which... I felt that was kind of clunky mechanics for me, and that's just not my cup of tea. So I'm really glad. What happens is if you hit V or if you hit the gear here, this takes you to what is called your options. And this is like a little mini menu, like, you know, something you would see in Windows. I mean, this is absolutely wonderful. So what you do is you want to go here to system. You click on system. This brings up the, the system sub menu. And then from there, you click key assignment. Now, you can do a couple things here. Now, you have to make sure you turn this on to do click left click to move. So as soon as you press down on your left click or on your mouse, um, and for me, I, of course, when you're gaming or doing any type of MMOs, you got to have a gaming mouse. So I'm going to actually show you guys what I got going on here. So I have this mouse here from Zil Zilotez. And it's the optical mouse for the game. This has a max of 55 DPI. And this is what I'm using. And it's an absolutely fabulous mouse. As you can see, I have really huge hands. So I just like those mouses that allows my thumb to have that inner groove. And it is absolutely wonderful this mouse only cost me about ten dollars okay now i did mention this while i was on youtube as for those of you who know or who don't know um i have two youtube channels this channel as you can see here is sin um sin is s-i-n for smart intelligent news not only is it a stream that i do here on twitch but it's also my youtube channel just to make sure to clarify here so it's youtube.com slash user slash s-i-n tv now so sin tv now i do gaming i do hard news and soft news i also do interviews with celebrities too from time to time so I, it's been awesome I, i've interviewed uh rashida i've interviewed laze larson um as you may have known him on what chili wants on vh1 but overall he's an amazing philanthropist and just a wonderful guy so i've done those type of things as well even today too um i am doing an interview um, with the producers of a movie that features like one of the girls from dancing with the stars which is really cool too so that's pretty much uh, a little bit more about me and like what I do and the channel and all that good stuff just so you can clarify I have another channel which is called youtube.com slash user slash Belasian Quita that's where it started all and that program is called the curvy metal head show so you get to see me talk about rock and metal and I have a new segment I just started which is called interracial masterpiece theater where I do movie reviews about movies that focus around like that have themes of diversity diversity, interculturalism, and interracial unions, and all, all kinds of cool stuff. So that's a little bit more about me. You know, I'm just a very well-rounded type of person, so that's how it is. But let's get back to ELOA here, just so you know what you, what stream you're checking out. Just, just what I'm saying, just saying. Okay, so next, 
here is another thing you can do too so you have immediate cast and what immediate cast allows you to do is if you press a shortcut key for the range skill the skill is immediately cast in the direction of the mouse pointer so if you click that it whatever mouse movement you do that's where the attack will be cast but I don't like using that feature so I just like to use the left click to move and to confirm that this works here is me left clicking to move so let's go over here and let me tell you guys, I have really, I did some cleaning in my room today, and I'm kind of getting my room fixed here. Oh, poor guy crying for his mommy. Who cares? No kidding. I'm a horrible person. This is why I shouldn't have children, to be honest. Okay, so, unfortunately killed by orgers. That's kind of sucks. All right, so we got to help this brother out. And apparently, he could have been eaten by a mutant pincher spider. That is not a good time. All right, let's go check that out, and we will be safe, and let's do our thing. Okay, so we can get one of those, and we can also get a sword here, but you have to be level 7. We'll get there. All right, so let's go kill some of these spiders. I hate spiders. Ugh. Spiders are disgusting. So let's kill some of these mutant spiders here. And as you can see, I got my special attack going on in the Biz Nye here. So if you see here F2, and you can see all my hotkeys here, it's 1, 2, 3, Q, W, E, R, A, which is kind of interesting. Yep, I got that one right there. Come on, come on. All right, let me get my potion here because I was like dying up in these streets. Okay, there we go. So we got two of five. And then we got these little baby ones. All right, and they're just popping up out of nowhere. This is just not cute, people. It's absolutely crazy. No, but, like, it's just been kind of interesting for me these last couple of days. I've just been going through this process of trying to find... Oh, I have, like, three spiders on me. This is not cool. All right, but you see, I'm owning them. I am owning them, my friends. All right, so we got four or five. Okay, we got to get one more, and I got to get the heck out of here. These spiders are re dog on Nicholas. Oh. All right, there we go. But at least they're not like the spider barrels like in Kingdom Hearts. Let me tell you, my friends. Those spiders, I hate them. And you know why? Because they just come at random, which is ridiculous. All right, so we are almost there, my friends. We are almost there. Okay. So, all right, so let's see what else we got to kill here. All right, so let's go over here. We got to get some of these uh, scary ogres. And now I got these spiders following me. Ah! Okay, there we go. All right, let me move over here. And see, you can die really quickly in this game. So, just as an FYI, you do not want to get like ganged up like this i do not recommend it it is just not a good idea all right so and then the thing i hate too is it takes such a doggone long time for the stupid counter to like work you know it's just so annoying it's like what the heck okay there we go all right come on come on come on come on all right five Woo. that was close my friends I thought I was going to die there for a second. I think I am right now. All right, so there we go. No, but it's been actually really crazy for me. These last couple of days have just been nothing but reflection and like figuring out, you know, what I want to do with my show. Like I mentioned yesterday, um, with with Sin with Sin TV, what I decided to do is I really, really want to focus on. Um, you know, for me, I really, 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 really want to focus on making the channel a little bit of everything. So you're going to get your interviews, you're going to get your gaming, your geekery. So um, what the motto of the show, I like to say, is bringing geekery into society, which I think is a very vital tile and very important thing to do. Um, you know, I've always been someone, though, that enjoys gaming. I've always been someone who enjoys, you know, just having, you know, having fun, you know. People just take life too seriously sometimes. And sometimes you do have to take life seriously. But it's just annoying to me when people, you know, have a problem with geeks, you know. When people have a problem with having 
diverse opinions when people have a problem with just like you know enjoying people for who they are too so that's something i try to do here on the stream as well uh it was